the DeKalb County judge who ordered the removal of Decatur's Confederate monument will leave the bench at the end of this year. Superior Court Judge Clarence Seeliger ruled that monument was a public nuisance. 11 Alive's Doug Richards sat down with him about that case and the decades of experience with other cases like it. Though they were not acquainted, the backstory on Judge Clarence Chuck Seeliger has to start with Martin Luther King Jr. and one of King's many arrests, this one for a lunch counter sit-in in Atlanta. Following that arrest in October 1960, a DeKalb County judge ordered King to the state prison in Reedsville to serve a four-month sentence for, of all things, driving without a valid Georgia driver's license. The judge who did it was DeKalb County State Court Judge Oscar Mitchell. He did not have a lawyer in his court. You're African American, you were dead meat. Judge Mitchell's reputation lingered, and 20 years after King's arrest, Decatur attorney Chuck Seeliger had seen the way Mitchell treated black defendants. I would say he was a racist through and through. Seeliger ran against Mitchell in 1980 and beat him. One of Seeliger's first acts. That's one of the later pictures. With Chuck and I. was to hire DeKalb County's first African-American bailiff, a man named Nesby Thomas. As Seeliger got acquainted with his new courtroom, two flags caught his eye. They looked like two Georgia flags. So one day I walked over there and I said, I'll be damned, one of these is a Confederate battle flag. And it's got to go. Seeliger had his bailiff remove it permanently. And then all, all hell broke loose. Seeliger still has a folder full of the hate mail he'd gotten. Within it is a Ku Klux Klan mailer which published Seeliger's home phone number and address. One letter writer offered to suspend Judge Seeliger from a tree with a rope. The writer signed his name and address and wrote, hang in there. I turned that over to the FBI and they actually prosecuted him for it. Undaunted, in 1992, Seeliger took it upon himself to also remove Georgia's Confederate-influenced official state flag from his courtroom, years before the legislature redesigned it to exclude the prominent St. Andrew's Cross. In the interim, Seeliger helped kill the controversial Presidential Parkway project, which had pitted future Congressman John Lewis against then-Mayor Andrew Young. Seeliger wrote an eminent domain opinion that aligned with Lewis and residents who opposed the highway that would have run through Druid Hills and Candler Park. Fast forward to the 21st century. Judge Seeliger found himself at the center of another Confederate controversy this year. This time, it was an obelisk indicator to commemorate the Civil War, built as Jim Crow segregation had taken root in Georgia. Protests at the monument germinated and intensified, worrying residents and law enforcement. They were very frightened about what might happen. They were really worried about another Charlottesville. And so on that basis, I declared it a nuisance. Seeliger's declaration that the obelisk was a public nuisance gave DeKalb County the legal blessing to take it down, despite a state law recently enacted that restricts the removal of such monuments. The ways of the legislature are weird and hard to understand. Judge Clarence Seeliger made a career of trying to find understanding in the law and the divisive symbols that spanned his 40 years on the bench.